Hello, everybody. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and I'm here to do a quick review of HBO Max and a bigger review on their new Looney Tunes series, which I loved. Uh, let's break all this down. First up, HBO Max. A lot of people have been indifferent uh, giving this mediocre reviews. Uh, they paid a lot of money for Friends, and apparently that's not been their biggest driver or biggest watcher. Uh, instead, the biggest watcher has been Looney Tunes, which I'm going to go into. But before I get into that, uh, I've mostly watched all their stuff for kids. It, there's definitely a lot of kids programming and having kids, uh, having a one-year-old an eight-year-old and 10-year-old it runs the gamut it's it's kind of great uh the craftopia show my daughter loved my young my ch- baby loved the yelmo show uh and my eight-year-old boy loved the looney tunes uh there was a lot of choices there to start not a ton for like long term but enough to sort of say you know what hbo warner brothers you got a good library here so far obviously as many critics have already admitted they don't have a lot of originals their originals are incredibly lacking no offense to anna kendrick but i don't have any interest in watching love life don't even really know about it it's not on my I have too many shows to watch that one is not getting first priority I'd rather go catch up on some HBO shows I missed than catch out any of these honestly legendary on the record uh, my kids though did overrule and that my daughter liked Craftopia um, and my obviously Elmo uh, if you have babies uh, little younguns uh, it's 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 cute it's fine um, but that's that's it that's those are the original shows and obviously, a lot of people are excited for the Snyder Cut. Uh, will that turn into a movie or a series? Rather, we still got a long time away. What else aside from that is there going to is going to be on there, and what makes it worth it? Look, I've been a, a f- subscriber, and I, I like HBO. They got a lot of content, and they got great movies. Um, as sort of it shows up here, look, they got you know the Meg, uh, uh, Black's Klansman, w- Wonder Woman. They they have some uh, Ready or Not just dropped. Uh, they have good films on HBO. D- don't get me wrong, uh, but if you've ever had HBO Go or HBO Max. <laughs> okay, then you have, you've had this. Uh, it just amps up the amount of movies, and it does amp up uh, uh, you know old shows you may have missed, like Doom Patrol, which I'm, it's on my list to catch up on. Uh, obviously, a lot of uh, uh, blockbuster movies, etc. But there's also the Turner Classic movies, which they have a really great library of. Again, a great catalog: Casablanca, Citizen Kane, uh, old little The Little Shop of Horrors, it's so worth watching. Hard Day's Night, Forty Second Street, Singing in the Rain, North by Northwest, Cool Hand Luke, such a great film. So many great films you can catch up on if you older variety. Wizard of Oz, um, Chaplin films. I mean, as a, as archives go, it, it's wonderful. There's a lot of classic films you can go that aren't going to be probably front of mind of a lot of people, but you can go back and catch up on that. I would highly, highly recommend you go check out their Turner Classic uh, movie section. Uh, and then there's a lot, obviously, a lot of uh, their Studio Ghib- Ghibli. Um, I don't know how to say that, uh, but I, and there's that Crunchyroll has anime. Anime has never been my thing, but for people who are, that's great. Uh, the DC section obviously has a lot of uh, stuff. Uh, including Doom Patrol and some of the DC Access shows uh, and the movies. Teen Titans Go actually was a lot of fun for the kids. Uh, and you can watch uh, some of the some of the old uh, stuff, Teen Titans shows, etc. So look, there's stuff there. There's stuff here absolutely to watch, uh, but there's not new stuff to watch. That's the biggest problem. So focusing on the new stuff to watch, one of the shows that is new that I think is their best right now is the Looney Tunes. Uh, and if you click on over to the Looney Tunes section, uh, they have all the old Looney Tunes cartoons. They have them lined up in this sort of a channel where you can watch them by characters, Best of Bugs, Best of Tweety, Marvin the Martian. There's a lot of stuff in here that's that's actually, and I think they could probably even get better on. I didn't find like a Roadrunner channel, which is what I wanted to show my kids first. Uh, so I had to go and find that myself, which I did. Um, and they have them all, it's like 31 seasons where they have every short Um throughout now you got to remember these are like eight minute episodes and they don't have like all of them it's not the complete looney tune set but it's pretty it's pretty great and the and the, and the uh the quality is pretty good um for you know this is from 19 what is this 89 49 um but yeah you get good quality on these uh shows without a doubt uh watching these sort of old R- roadrunner bugs daffy elmer fudd yosemite sam etc uh, i have to give this one thumbs up it's it was really nice to go back and check out these, especially the Chuck Jones ones. It's so nice to go back and introduce them to my kids who had a blast with them. My kids had never seen Looney Tunes. They didn't even really know who Bugs was. They're just not in the zeitgeist like they used to. So it's nice to have now a clear platform where you can go find them and introduce. Um, And to really help reintroduce, they've wisely rebooted uh, the show by creating a new HD series 
really uh, keeping the spirit of the original acting like what if Looney Tunes was still going on. Um, and so it's here and we watched them and they were a lot of fun. Uh, I can't imagine, this apparently is the highest uh, rated show on the platform right now. Not Friends, not even, but Looney Tunes. Um, and I liked them. Now, there's some controversy, I guess. It's a stupid controversy if you ask me. Uh, but they've uh, they've said they're not doing guns. Elmer Fudd and loses his rifle, and uh, same as Yosemite Sam. In fact, Yosemite Sam has this weird, uh, you know, like arm wrestling thing he does instead in one episode. And then uh, Elmer Fudd's like la- you know lounging around at home. He's not always in his hunting garb, but he is at one point uh, in the the garb, and he's still very instead of that, he's carrying out crazy other weapons, dynamite, uh, running around with a scythe Sith. How do you say that? Like the Grim Reaper. Um, plenty. The, the moral is plenty of violence. Plenty, plenty, plenty of violence. And let's be honest, that's what I want in my Looney Tunes. I want bugs. What's up, Doc? I want explosions. I want it to feel crazy. Uh, Because even back in the day, as this guy remembers, Elmer wasn't just guns. He used a lot of stuff. He was just an angry guy. Got to catch my wabbit. I got to eat the wabbit. Um, And that is still prevalent in this new show. Bugs is still always going to get them. Uh, it's very fun. It's very, there were a few moments that definitely, uh, there's an episode where he's trying to cook bugs. I don't want to spoil things. And it's hard to spoil a cartoon. He's trying to cook bugs. And there's a scene where he just starts needling, kneading Elmer's head as like dough. And it's, again, it's just funny. It's funny and violent, but like not in a bloody way. Looney Tunes is always sort of brilliant in showing you hits and falls and smacks in a non gory or violent, like bloody realistic way. It's always in a cartoonist, you know, explosion dynamite sort of silly way where they always wake up with birds around their heads so they can get away with this extreme violence. Uh, and as a kid, I loved it. And then as I grew up, I loved itchy and scratchy on the Simpsons who were sort of taking Looney Tunes to to next level by adding blood and extreme and stream gore to sort of Looney Tune violence, sort of, be a satire of the age of violence. And so um, Looney Tunes, to see Looney Tunes now back and in the same form and like it hasn't missed a beat was really fun to watch. It's It looks glorious and it's HD. Yes, they've removed the guns. I don't care. He uses plenty of weapons to keep the energy up and the fun violence up in a fun way, in a cartoony way, in the Who Framed Roger Rabbit way of they cannot be killed. So therefore it's all just insane levels of slapstick uh, violence. Um, but... I'm glad it's back. It seems like I've lost. It sort of didn't want to release it because I guess it was a fear of violence. Um, and it's very strange to me that Looney Tunes cartoons can't exist in this world. And so it's really encouraging, especially in this day and age that Warner Brothers is like, no, it's a cartoon. This is a cartoon. Parents, it's up to you to decide whether your kids watch it. It's up to you to parent your children to make sure the kids know you can't throw pianos and sledgehammers to people's heads. Uh, of course, that's up to the parents. We can't stop. So to be able to have that show where we could all just giggle and silliness of the loony activities of these characters was a nice uh, change of pace. Uh, and so I'm glad they did it. And I hope more people will tune in and watch this. If you've tried HBO Max and you've avoided Looney Tunes, check it out for a little bit so we can encourage. I, I want more of these. I want because this is the kind of thing you just these can be endless as the show and the archives on the platform show us there's endless amount of Looney Tunes you can do uh, regarding the sort of the story though, uh, you know, uh, removing the guns uh, as, as other people of Twitter have, have reminded they were not responsible gun owner owners. So <laughs> if anybody should have lost their right, it was these two. Um, but uh, you know, they, they said uh, some of the quotes here uh, explaining sort of their choices. We're not doing guns, uh, but we can do cartoony violence, TNT, Acme stuff. It was all kind of grand- grandfathered in. Uh, and then he, as he explains, there's a lot of stuff. Um, I always, th- uh, despite the lack of guns, there's still any Yosemite Sam. Uh, he vowed to keep the original feel of the cartoons, considered some of the greatest in animated cartoon history, which it is. Chuck Jones stuff especially. I always thought, what if Warner Brothers had never stopped making Looney Tunes cartoons? As much as we possibly could, we treated the production in that way. Um, you know, obviously then a lot of people are getting upset for whatever reason. But I can tell you, as someone who loved the original, and I, and I always appreciated and laughed not in, not encouraged by or acted on the violence but laughed at the violence 
Uh, this new Looney Tunes series on HBO Max in full HD, uh, f- full size, is is really fun to catch up on and watch. I highly recommend. And then it's even nicer to go back and watch some of the classics, which look hold up great. Um, they're not obviously in HD 4K. They're three, you know four three ratio, etc. But they look pretty crystal clear. Uh, it's nice to have those back in a place where you can access them all in one place. I've been waiting honestly for that. Uh, Disney stuff. Disney Plus has a lot of the old Mickey cartoons. So now to be able to go back and have an archive, a proper archive of old Bugs. Dad uh Sylvester, Tweety, Roadrunner, Wiley E. Coyote, Marvin the Martian, uh, Gra- you know, Granny, they're all there. Porky Pig, it's all there in glorious uh, access. So check it out when you, if you haven't already. If you've been checking out the movies in D.C., take a moment to go explore the Looney Tunes side. Go, remember to be a kid again. Have some fun laughing at it uh, and check it out. Tell me what you guys think down below. What is, have you tried HBO Max? Do you want to try HBO Max? Uh, leave me your review. Have you? Did you avoid Looney Tunes? Were you just thinking it's dumb kid programming? Do you want to give it a shot? I'd love to hear all your HBO Max feedback down below. And as always, you can hit me up on social media at Andy Signor. Thanks so much for watching. Lots more content coming, so stay tuned. Thanks, everybody. That's all, folks. Duh.